What's up, YouTube? It's been a minute since I stopped by here. It's actually been way too long, man. I should have been on YouTube a long time ago. But, <laughs> you know, life, you get busy, and uh, it takes a little time to make these videos. Not much. It's not that big. Of, it's not as big as a chore as some people think, a at least for me, because I don't put any special effects. I don't add any kind of anything to these videos. I come in, I look at the gameplay, and I talk. I talk about the game some, but I talk about other stuff mostly. And uh, that's how I rock. But what's anyway? What's up? What's good, YouTube? How y'all been? Um, I finally decided to get my official Black Ops Three review. And this time, this year, I wanted to take a little time to actually play the game more. Because last year, I didn't play Advanced Warfare that much. I didn't give it a fair shot, even though I'm sure I wouldn't like the game. Um, because I, the the exo suits, in my opinion. They're bad for Call of Duty. The jumping around and all the stuff that you see on Black Ops 2 is bad for Call of Duty. Now, this game right here is not that big of a deal. Most of my gunfights are actually on the ground, so it's really no not that big of a deal. It's actually, uh, the jumping around in this game is just sort of like a gimmick. It does nothing. It does, it's really not a big benefit to jump, especially on console. Now, if you're on PC, it's one thing because you have mouse and keyboard capability where you can aim and jump and do all that at the same time. Or if you have a scuff controller, you probably can jump and aim and float and shoot at the same time. So uh, that might give you an advantage. But me, I don't have a control. I just have a regular controller. So uh, I don't get an advantage from jumping around. So I just keep my gunfights on the ground. I do jump every now and then to try to get out of gunfire. But the aim assist on this game is so strong that uh, it's hard to get away from gunfights. And they made the aim assist kind of ridiculous, to be honest. And to be fair, because they knew people, people struggle to aim in Call of Duty. That's why I like keeping my gunfights at a distance. Because people, the hardest thing people do, uh, struggle to do in this game is aim. So the further away you can keep them, the less random shit you have to deal with. So my goal is, that's why I, um, I used to love SMGs. Like Black Ops 1 days, I used to love the MP5K and the uh, AK-74U. Or the uh, Famas, and I just rush, I run, lightweight, marathon. But... <clears throat> The Call of Duty has uh, progressed, actually regressed in my opinion, to uh, more of a sightline to sightline gunfight game, which is fine. I can do that too. Um, I'm actually pretty decent at that, so it doesn't bother me that much. So, um, and that's how they've designed all the maps. So that's how the game is being played, and that's how this game is being played. <clears throat> but getting back to the topic of the video, I wanted to give y'all a, a review. And I want to make a wait a little time. I want to get it to at least level 55. I've actually prestiged. I prestiged this morning. And um, level 8, prestige 1. Uh, and I wanted to give myself some time to actually give a, get an honest opinion about how this game is. I actually have one day played. And that was the goal, to at least give myself one day game time played. To, so y'all can give a good, honest opinion of what I think about the game. Because if I would have given you this commentary... A week or two ago, two two or three weeks ago, I would have gave this game a great F. Right now, I give it a solid C+. It's actually, I think it's a fun game, and it's a good game. It could actually be a lot better if they address a couple things, in my opinion. First thing is, they have to, uh, in my opinion, they have to address the flinch. I was a big fan that they removed toughness. I was the, a big fan they removed stopping power. I don't think that you should have crutch perch. Uh, but I also think that they should add stuff like toughness to the game. Stopping power, not so much, because I believe the more bullets you have to put on somebody, the more skill it takes to kill them. Now, I'm not saying that you should have to shoot somebody with eight, nine shots, but three or four shots make sense. Uh, these assault rifles on this game, they need a serious buff. Every assault rifle except the man war and the M8 take at least four shots. Four shots minimum. That's ridiculous. When competing with subs that take... Subs may take three or four shots, but they spit so much faster than these assault rifles that you just get outclassed by them. I, I'm completely outclassed. The only the only competitive assault rifle that I've used are the M8 and the uh, KN44, which you see me using right now. And this is my very first game. I saved it. I knew I was going to uh, eventually do a review, so I said I'll just use the very first game that I played as my official Black Ops 3 review. And uh, yeah, you see it. Uh, There's nothing spectacular. I think I went like 24 and 18 in a kill confirmed <clears throat> playing Chaos Mosh Pit, which is my favorite 
uh, game type to play simply because the maps on this game are the worst in Call of Duty history. Like, who I, the, the people that design these maps, I don't think they ever played Call of Duty. I don't think they played Call of Duty before. These are the worst maps. Like, Combine is a great map. Nuketown is a good map. And Evac is semi-playable. And let me think of another one. Uh, maybe Friends. And Infection on Ground War is okay. Other, the rest of them are pure trash. Redwood is one of the worst maps I ever even thought about playing on in my life. I'm like, this map is ridiculous. It's a joke. Um, it's nice to look at, but boy, it plays like shit. Um, and it's a lot of maps like that. That's not the only one. They design these nice, pretty maps, but they are awful to play on. Um... But anyway, uh, so getting to my review, I know I keep going off on different tangents and whatnot. What I would give this game, I, th I think it's a good game. That's something I wouldn't have said two weeks ago. That's why I wanted to give myself some time to actually play the game so I can give you a full review. And I honestly, I think it's a good game. I've, I've been having a blast with it the last few days. Saturday, I played this game for eight hours straight. I hadn't played a video game of shooter because I've played Mass Effect for longer than that. I've played Grand Theft Auto for longer than that. I haven't played a shooter for eight hours straight in years. It's been since Gears of War 2 since I've played a shooter for that long at one time. So I enjoy this game a lot. I didn't even play Black Ops 1 and Black Ops 2 that long. Black Ops 1 because I was still playing Gears at the time. And Black Ops 2 because uh, I think Black Ops 2 is probably the second best in the series. But Black Ops 2 ran like shit. Especially if you play with a party. It, the connections were bad. And those are two, two major pluses that this game added. The loss prevented stat. You don't get losses for joining games late. And the connect, my connections have been good. Like, actually really good. Uh, I played on a few um, dedicated servers. And I played on a few hosts. Because console has this little hybrid thing that they go on dedicated. They go on hosts. Just like uh, Gears War 3 did. When they'll try to put you on a dedicated server. But if they couldn't find a match. They'll drop you into a, a game that's player-to-player, uh, -player, which is fine. Because my connections have been actually good all around, except for a few occasions. Last night I played two matches that I thought I was in Zimbabwe or somewhere. But other than that, uh, it's been de decently good. But getting back to the review, this game is good. Uh, it's got some problems. The flinch is one problem. The assault rifles need a buff. Um, it's got more problems on PC, but Xbox doesn't have those problems. The aim assist is too strong. Um, that's a problem. Uh, PC has the sniper problem. They balance these snipers for console. They didn't balance them for PC. They balance them uh, based strictly on the fact that they wouldn't have aim assist. Well, on PC, you don't need aim assist when you have mouse and keyboard. And the uh, snipers are ridiculous. I was watching SK uh, live stream. He dropped 100, and 100 plus kills with that PO6 in like four straight games. It was nonsense. You get somebody that's that good using that gun, they're going to do some crazy stuff. And that's what he was doing. He was doing some crazy shit. He had like 10,000 points in the first round of a domination game. That's insane. But it, he, was just, he was talking about how stupid that gun it is. It's, it's crazy on PC. It's, is it the Draken and all that? It's not a big deal on console. I played against a Draken uh, earlier this morning, actually, and uh, it was no problem. But it has a few bugs and a few problems. But overall, I think it's a good game. And I think it's only going to get better. Um, who knows? My opinion may change in a couple months, depending on what they patch. If they overpatch thing, if they under, if they overtune different things, or if they undertune stuff. If they uh, pa if they nerf the wrong stuff, then it can get bad. If they, if they uh, buff a lot of the stuff, then it can get better. Because I think instead of nerfing guns, they need to actually buff the other ones to make them competitive. But anyway, mobile great, C plus, B minus. It's a good game right now. I it's it's a hell of a lot of fun. I have a fun. I have a lot of fun playing it. And uh, be looking forward to more Black Ops 3 gameplay. I might even do a Road to Command. I don't know. It just depends on what my schedule looks like. But I'll get y'all next one. I'm out of here. Peace.